really flies well. Um, that you can go around inside her. Uh, you know, it's, it's basically a flyable level, if you like, if you see what I mean. And um, you know, you all, all of you guys, you're welcome. You're welcome to have a go on it. Uh, you're welcome to play on it yourself. I've got, I've made the mod free, free for download. Um, I better go and deal with that ellipse quickly. Uh, so we want to be headed south, is it? So we head there. That's pretty much good enough for our aligned planes now, I think. Yep. Bam, you can see, look, look at that. You can see the two lines and dual nicely lined up with each other. That means we're definitely on the right plane, but now we're uh, headed in the wrong sort of direction now. We need to be really moving this pair up this round a bit more. So we go prograde. How about we head straight down? Yes, that seems to be working. He's um, moving around. There we go. Ooh. Yes. This is going to be a very long burn. You have to remember that in order to get to this planet, you know, in you know working time zones, because you know some of the Jupiter mining workers they've got families and stuff to get back to. They can't just hang around in spending three years going to this thing. They need to get to it in twenty days. So you know you really need a better energy source than what we've got at the moment on Earth, or at least what they will let us have, because I think a lot of fusion stuff has sort of been kept under wraps and been made secret and what have you. But that, that's an entirely different debate, you know, oh, wild conspiracy theories and whatever, but I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what to believe anymore. There's so much stuff comes out of YouTube these days. I just try and uh, stick with the facts and then go from there. Oh, you see that? That player is getting nice and close. We might even be able to do a slingshot past Juno, actually, which would be quite cool. Hands up, who wants to do a slingshot past Juno? Because, I mean, come on, we're doing a tour of the solar system here. I mean, we might as well, and then we could do a slingshot past that, and then we'll get into outer and outer orbits. Oops. And you can see the periapsis is there now, but... Um, it's now, uh, because uh, the, because, um, he's going to be over there now a, a bit more, isn't he? So we need to go about, uh, here maybe? Is it straight down again? No, that's just going to make him, uh... wider, isn't it? Well, I don't see that as a problem. Let's whizzer on a bit now, and see what happens, and then if we get, uh... As, when we're on our way, we might just have to do a bit of mid-course correction. 
Aha, we've got to take the RCS system off and then let's do the time warp again. So we say bye bye to Kerbin. I think this journey's taking too long, isn't it? I think it's time that we um we just blasted straight into the core of the sun. Or maybe just a bit behind it, and we just uh, done a slingshot straight past the sun now. What do you say? And then we can get to Jewel well quick. Or shall we take a leisurely stroll across to Duna? I don't know, but I think I've got a powerful engine. Why not make the use of it? And they go, oh, you're cheating, you're cheating. No, you're not. I'm just burning loads of deuterium, that's all. Okay, so you want to be going, I think... that direction. Anyway, I'll let you know how we get on in our next video. Thanks for watching.